Okay. My name's Mia and I'm reading this graphic novel called Kim Reaper and this is how it looks on the inside. And I highly recommend if um, if you're into your mystery and murder and all of that, I highly recommend this graphic novel. This is Derek Landy's Skullduggly Pleasant. It might sound lighthearted, but it is anything but. You'll find the light hand of fiction section. It's about this skeleton detective who has mastered the elements. I really would recommend. My book is called Harry Potter, the first one, and it's about a boy called Harry Potter and he's living with his aunt, uncle and cousin and they don't treat him very well and then one day he gets a letter but he's not allowed to read it and then eventually he gets sent to a magical school called Hogwarts and I would give the book a 9 out of 10 because it's very interesting and I enjoy reading it. Hi, my name is Arush and uh, I'm reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I really enjoy this book because it's really adventurous and uh, it's just fun reading this book. And that's the reason I like this book. Hello, my name is Sean. This is Demon Slayer number two. It's the second book of the series of 23. It's about the Demon Slayer, the young Demon Slayer, and he's gone through the Demon Slayer corpse to become a Demon Slayer himself and I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I'm reading Demon Slayer. It's basically about um, this guy called Tanjiro. Um, he, fight, he kills demons to stop them from terrorizing humans. And um, yeah, this book is like 10 out of 10. It's amazing. I'm reading uh, The World's Worst Children. And it's from David Williams. And um, I really like this book because I, all the chapters is very weird and funny as well. But um, some of them is where everybody's trying to get them to stop, but they won't. Because maybe like they have um, things to do with them, like knits or something. And I would um, rate it out a 10 out of 10 because it's really good. Um, my name is Kelsey and I'm reading The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and it's basically about this boy who lived around the time of World War II and how he becomes friends with the Jew and I give the book a, a 10 out of 10. Uh, my name is Jace and I'm reading um, Pandora's Jar. Uh, it's about women in Greek myths and I think I would rate the book a 9 out of 10 and I would rate it that because it's quite um, interesting to learn about Greek mythology. My book is basically about this boy named Harry Potter and he travels to a school named Hogwarts and it's in the magical world and then there is like this mystery called the Chamber of Secrets and it's a myth in that school and people think that it's, it's filled with dark magic and all that stuff so overall I rate this book a 9 out of 10 because you, you keep reading this book until you get interrupted Hi, my name's Sam and I'm reading Jordan Henderson, <laughs> the Liverpool role player. This book is about his early life and how he came to be such a famous player. And I would rate this book um, a 9 out of 10. And it's really interesting because it covers all his life topics and it's all these. Hi, my name is Alana and this is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And this book is about like the murder of a girl named Andy Bell and another person investigating the murder called Pip and I'd say it's about a 9 out of 10. Hi, my name is Adrian and I'm reading Mythos. It's a retelling of the ancient Greek myths and I'm really enjoying it. I'd, I'd give it like, a, like an, at least an 8 out of 10 if you enjoy like Greek myths and stuff. So. Hi, I'm Jade. I'm reading the book Hunger by Michael Grant. Uh, this book is by Sir. Um, this book is about survival, and it comes in a series of other books, five other books. Um, the main characters in this book are Nate and Avril, and in this book they talk about well survival and hunger, like the title. And I'd recommend this book because it's nice. Hi, my name is Daisy. I'm reading Colin by Ultimate Football Heroes. And in this book, it talks about how Holland rises to fame with his football career. It talks about his family supporting him and being with him. Uh, I read this book uh, 10 out of 10. Hi, my name is Zara, and this is a book called um, 
Devil Wears Prada. It's basically like a girl that wants to do, like, wants to be a novelist, but then she goes to like the Eiffel Towers and then she gets like a job like for a fashion designer and then she gets to go to Paris and all and yeah I give this book like a 10 out of 10. Hi my name is Killian and this book is World's Worst Teachers Free and there are several stories in it one of them is about a guy with a phobia of balls as, as in like footballs and I give this book a 7 out of 10 Hi, we are reading Guard Your Heart. The first character is Aiden. His dad left him and his mom is dead. He is a Catholic and he is from the Republic of Ireland. The second character is Iona. She is a Protestant and she's British. She has high hopes and she's in university. We give this book a four out of five. Hello, I'm Dara. This book is this is a book is Lord of the Rings by Tolkien. It's about someone. It's about a, a hobbit called Frodo Baggins who goes on a quest to save his land from the Dark Lord. And this book is an adventure book, and I'd give it about uh, five out of five. Hello, my name is Kim, and at the moment I'm reading The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. It's a mix of funny and sad parts in the book, mostly sad and um, I give this book a 5 out of 5. Hi, my name is Ahmed and I'm reading Dogman Unleashed. This is basically the first book in the series and basically his origin story. I really like this book because it has it's really into the depth and it's a really good opening and origin for Dogman. I rate this book a 4.5 out of 5. Hello, uh, my name is Matthew and I'm just going to briefly talk to you about Spider-Man comics, obviously big fan. Uh, they're funny, they're relevant, you know, there's loads of action in them and stuff like that and they're very accessible for young people to get in because you have multiple different titles of different Spider-Man. So I would say if you have a chance, pick one up, give it a read. Hi, my name is Sarah. One of my favourite books is Homegoing by Yaa Jassy. Uh, Homegoing follows two sisters and spans multiple generations um, throughout Ghana and throughout America. I'd recommend it if you like historical fiction and if you like multi-generational stories, um, I'd give this book 5 out of 5. Hi, my name is Michael and I, a book that I'm currently reading is Dracula. It's by Bram Stoker, who's an Irish author, and it's a spine-tingling read. Uh, it's one that uh, will really get you uh, excited about um, gothic novels and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed reading this. Hi, my name is Orla and I'm currently rereading one of my favourite gothic novels. This is Wuthering Heights, written by Emily Bronte. Um, it's set in the Yorkshire Moors. It's a bit of a ghost story, a bit of a love story, and you'll have to read it to find out more. I'm Tammy. Um, a book I love is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. It's about a man who wakes up in a world in which his wife is not his wife and his son is not his son, and multiverse hijinks ensues. If you like sci-fi, you'll really like this, and I gave it five stars. Hi, I'm Dave. Uh, I like reading books uh, about musicians and artists and accomplished people. And the last book I read was Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Really good book. Uh, highly recommended. Hi, I'm Jan and this is one of my favourite books. It's The Shining by Stephen King. It's the story of a man who is hired to be the caretaker in a hotel while the hotel is closed for the winter. And the reason I love this book is because it's really well written. The characters are really, really complex and there's constant tension in it. Uh, so I hope you like it. Hi, my name is Niall. Um, I'm reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck. It's the first time I've read it. Uh, a lot of our students will be familiar with Of Mice and Men, which is also by John Steinbeck. And so I was curious myself to, to read more of his work. Um, it's an epic novel in that, like, it's, well, firstly, it's very long, and it follows a few generations of two families in California, in uh, the Salinas Valley, where Of Mice and Men is also set. So I would highly recommend it. And um, yeah, definitely give it a go. Okay, so my name's Dale. This is my favourite book. It's uh, called Fever Pitch by Nick Hornby. You'll find it in the non-fiction section of the library. This is actually the library copy. It's a book I think about love and loyalty and passion, um, but it is about a person talking about their love affair with their favourite football club, which in this case is Arsenal. It's the same as mine. So it's very personal to me. 
And whenever I take my children to the library, I take it off the shelf while they're reading their books and I read a chapter of it just randomly.